a sense of foreboding never fails as we read in this week's Torah portion how Yaakov, the patriarch, dispatches his son Yosef to go and seek the welfare of his brothers pasturing in Shechem. Coming to Shechem, Yosef doesn't find his brothers. He meets a man who in fact is the angel Gabriel who informs Yosef that his brothers have gone to a place called Dosan. Our sages tell us Dosan is not just a place, but the word implies scheming, and that he overheard the brothers of Yosef scheming to kill him. At this point, we would have expected Yosef to make a U-turn and go back to his father. But Yosef was undeterred by the perilous fate that may have laid ahead of him because he was guided by the mission that his father had sent him on for which he was prepared to sacrifice the rest of the story we know he was cast into a pit by his brothers and then sold to merchants going down to Egypt but the story doesn't end there as years later Yosef miraculously goes from a slave to the viceroy of Egypt and through his program of storing food becomes the one who sustains the entire Middle Eastern region during a time of famine, including his very own father, his very own brothers, and his very own family. Yosef is the story of one who is prepared to sacrifice and how that sacrifice results years later in an incredible miracle of salvation. As fate would have it, we read this story of Yosef and his brothers this Shabbat when we celebrate the festival of Hanukkah and the parallels are striking because this small band of Chashmi Noim known as the Maccabees living in Modi'in in the Judean hills saw the Syrian Greeks in an overwhelming numbers taking over their precious homeland as well as the Holy Temple conventional wisdom would have said there is not a chance to take them on it would be an act of complete and total suicide and yet undeterred by the odds that were overwhelmingly against them in the face of incredible peril and danger this small band of brothers and their small army took on the overwhelmingly larger Greek army and the results was a miraculous victory. After three years of fighting against the Syrian Greeks and liberating the hills from them, they finally returned to Jerusalem to restore and to reclaim and to rededicate the temple that has been defiled by the Syrian Greeks who made it a particular mission of theirs to defile the oil of the temple so that the oil should not be, the menorah should not be lit with the pure and holy light of Judaism, but with the cultural light of Hellenism. This they were not prepared to compromise on, and they searched and they searched, undeterred and against all odds, they found one jar of oil that had not been tempered or compromised and become impure through the Syrian Greeks. They didn't know lighting that menorah with the pure oil on that first day that a miracle was about to unfold but this was a miracle that was born of sacrifice fast forward the buchenwald concentration camp december 1944 a particularly harsh and cold winter a group of jewish inmates in the concentration camp realized that hanukkah is soon approaching and in their words there was an urge in many of us this is recounted by one of them to reveal the spirit of sacrifice implanted in our ancestors through the ages that is the spirit of sacrifice of Yosef that is the spirit of the sacrifice of the Maccabees that is the spirit of sacrifice in that barracks that night in Buchenwald 1944 how they managed to put scrape some oil and wick together and come together and light the menorah bringing the light of sacrifice to this place of unspeakable 
darkness. Friends, it is the light of the sacrifice of the ages that burns through the menorahs that you and I light this year. And it is our responsibility to see to it that that light of sacrifice for which so many generations before us paid such a heavy price, that that light continues to burn on and burn on in even greater, greater measure until we drive all negativity, all darkness out of this world and the world becomes the glorious home for God, the reason for which God put us all into this world to be his agents of light. Wishing you Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach. Right.